Well, we're here at the Lumbee Tribe today, and uh, every day is enrollment day, and uh, I just like to go through the chamber sometimes where we have everyone sitting um, for social distancing, and that's the biggest room we have to hold as many people to come through. And from time to time, we, well, we have visitors, Lumbees from out of town, out of the, our territory all the time, but today I just happened to run across uh, Miss Amanda Sampson, and I'll let you tell her tell you her full name and uh, where she's living now. It's a, a, and who's your people? Okay. It's Amanda Sampson Lomayasva, and Lomayasva is my husband's last name. He's a member of the Hopi tribe. Um, I'm living in Tucson, Arizona, and my, my people are uh, Deep Branch Sampsons. Uh, Oscar Sampson, Susie Sampson are my great great grandparents. I'm sorry, my great grandparents. And my, uh, my grandfather is uh, John Paul Sampson. Um, and my dad, Cedric Sampson, and I've got lots of aunts and uncles and other Sampson relatives. I've heard your name from time to time because you really are, are involved whenever there's a, a way for you to help your tribe in legal matters because you are an attorney, right? I am. With the UCLA Law? Yes, I did. Uh, I did UCLA. So I've heard your name over the uh, years I've been in, uh, in office here. So it's just a pleasure to meet you in person. But what tribe, you, you're working for a tribe now. What's the name of that tribe, and is there any connection from, with that tribe to the Lumbee? Yes, there is. Uh, I'm working for the Pasquayaki tribe. Mm -hmm. It's a tribe in southern Arizona, and they are wonderful. Uh, I've worked there for, I want to say, 16, 17 years, oh, okay. um, so in different roles. Um, but there is a connection, and, and that is um, they were a tribe that were not recognized didn't get recognized until uh, 1978. And so they understand that that struggle um, to be recognized and be restored um, on a federal, you know, federal level. So um, they went through that. Um, and I know that they, um, that, you know, in the early days I've been told were uh, met with a lot of, of uh, Lumbee leaders who were trying to get federal recognition, going to Washington, D.C. And, um, and would meet uh, occasionally in that, in those circumstances, at committee hearings and and whatnot, so, um, so I think they they definitely understand that issue. And that's great because in 1956, the Lumbee Act, um, there were five tribes that were recognized and terminated at the same time, and the, your tribe mm -hmm. that you're working for was one of them. Mm -hmm. So since then, like as you say, they've been restored, mm -hmm. and that's what we're looking to do, and that's still, right. still pursuing. But just recently, your chairman, uh, Chairman Yuki Nichio, mm -hmm. uh, wrote a letter of support on behalf of the tribe uh, for us for full federal recognition mm -hmm. for the uh, House uh, Committee on um, Natural Resources. So we really appreciate that support. Yeah. And I know you had was. I know you were the driving force behind that, so thank you. As you know, it always helps to have Lumbees in all areas of the United States of America, and, and there's Lumbees in every level of government and, and profession, and it's just amazing that we, at this particular time, you were there to help us. Well, I was happy to, and they were happy to, uh, to do so. I, I, I told them about, uh, I told the Tribal Council and Chairman Yuficio about the, um, the, uh, um, the Lumbee bill being reintroduced and you know that that it would be great to lend some support and they were very happy to do that so um, so I'm so glad that that worked out and, and hopefully will be helpful what um, since you weren't you weren't brought up here in uh, tribal territory and uh, you were raised in Los Angeles what brings you back continuously back to Robinson County and the Lumbee tribe. Well, I, I grew up coming out here and visiting, um, you know, with family occasionally, not all the time, obviously, but um, but my dad, uh, he really uh, instilled the, the idea that it was important to have that connection, and he told me a lot about uh, his upbringing and, and my grandpa, too. He, he definitely um, told me a lot of stories and, uh, and instilled that value for education and for, for the history of the tribe. And um, so I've always felt that, that that was important to keep that connection. And we come back and visit family. Well, I think that's the strength of Lumbee is that even with Lumbee homecoming, that's why it was first um, uh, 
ins installed or created back in the 60s, but to bring our people back together. But uh, people were doing it long before then, and, and the people from here migrated to different parts of the country. And mm -hmm. um, did you say your father was in Vietnam? Or? He was. My, my father and my two uncles, his brother, his two brothers all served. They're all I veterans. appreciate their yeah. service. Mm -hmm. And then he settled in Los Angeles after the he war. He did. After the war, he um, he wanted to go to school. He became a professor, a uh, history professor, and um, and then he, he went to school out there, so we just ended up staying out there. Mm -hmm. Well, I just met your family, and I'm sure we'll post some pictures from that, but uh, it, it's just a pleasure to meet you, and thank you for what you did for your people recently, and, and even before then, because I've heard that you've been so supportive over the years. Uh, from your position, and it's in Arizona, so we want to thank you for that, and it was just a pleasure to meet you and your family. Well, thank you, Chairman. Really appreciate it, and uh, really happy to be here. Uh, thank you. Thanks.